the next trigger that we're going to set up is a move trigger. Since we already have this trigger set up, we're just going to edit this one. So we're going to leave it as anybody present and repeatable. And we're going to just basically clear the on activation box. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in a new code. So this one's going to start with left squiggly bracket and if space not space left bracket is player space underscore x and then right curvy bracket space then space left squiggly bracket underscore x space set and in capital P P O S space left curvy bracket get and in capital M marker and in capital P P O S space and then you're gonna put a quote and then we're gonna name this marker that we're gonna place mark marker name doesn't matter what you name it as long as it's defined in the code and the marker is the same name so we're gonna end it with a quote and then you're gonna put a right curvy bracket and then after that you're gonna put a right squiggly bracket after that you're gonna put a semicolon and then after that again you're gonna put a right squiggly bracket hit space and then you're gonna go for each space this and then capital L L I S T this list and then at, after that you're gonna put a semicolon but we're gonna hit OK that's all set up next is we're gonna go to the map scroll in and we're gonna go to F6 for markers and we're gonna put a square edit it and we're just gonna make it say mark so right now it says mark that's all we have to do for that you can make the marker visible or not it doesn't really matter as long as the marker is named accordingly to what you put into the trigger now let's go back to the code for the trigger I just want to point something out that if the player enters the trigger then nothing's going to happen the, the player is not going to be moved because this code here checks to see if it's the if it's not the player we're gonna tell our second guy to go forward to move up we'll go. and he gets moved over there Two. Return to formation. Copy. And he's going to keep doing that. So what is this trigger good for? It's good for you could probably use it in a deathmatch mission or a team deathmatch and you could probably set this trigger you could probably put a couple of triggers here in the same spot with the same code and set each trigger to like either 04 or independent whoever the enemy is so if this was like your base and you didn't want anybody entering your base and you let's say op4 was your enemy and they tried to sneak into your base and automatically instead of just killing them which eh, probably most people would want to kill them move them back to their base wherever their base is at 